A high-profile corruption scandal has rocked the European Parliament. Eva Khalili, a Greek member of Parliament, is expected to be in Brussels court today. According to investigators, she was one of four people arrested in an alleged bribery scheme involving Qatar. Kaylee has since been stripped of her role as one of the parliament's 14 vice presidents. So for more on this, let's bring in CBS News senior foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett. He's following this story for us from London. Uh, Charlie, tell us about this investigation. Um, and certainly there will be people in this country who are going to say, what do I care about what's happening in the European Parliament? I feel like he needs to break yeah, it down. Yeah, you need to break like, this down. People don't understand like, how the European Parliament is broken down and why she's such a key figure, because she's like a VP, right? right. She's pretty high ranking. Yeah, I think there are people within Europe who want to understand how the European <laughs> Parliament works. Well, she was arrested uh, last Friday during raids by Belgian police. They seized um, more than $1.6 million in cash. Now, these are from multiple properties, uh, alleged bribes from Qatar or Qatar, as you said. Um, they found a suitcase full of cash in a hotel room. Uh, Kylie was among four suspects who were arrested. The charges, are, they're very serious. I mean, corruption money laundering participation in a criminal organization must be said her lawyers say she denies any involvement prosecutors won't even confirm at this point whether any of that money was actually found at her property her italian partner was also arrested the couple's uh, assets and property have been seized including her property in greece uh, but those allegations enough were enough for um, fellow meps to strip her of her role yesterday as one of 14 vice presidents uh, the vote was big, 625 to 1. Uh, she was also in charge of the EU's relations with the Middle East, so she played a pivotal role. Um, the, the trial, the pretrial hearing, took place earlier today. We're waiting for the results. Uh, the Qatari government called the claims of bribery baseless and gravely misinformed. And didn't she make a speech in front of the European Union sort of applauding uh, Qatar on its labor strides, its labor, its, its labor rights strides, if you will? Yeah, exactly that. And, you know, we, we know how much criticism and part of, part of that has been reporting from here about uh, the Qataris' uh, dubious and questionable uh, record when it comes to human rights and with some of the labor involved uh, in the World Cup. But she was defending the Qataris, which has raised alarm bells within itself. But it's one of those situations where we, we're asking to explain how, how it works. You know, there are many members of the MEP, uh, members of, of Parliament, European Parliament, comes from 27 different countries. Um, it, is, it is a very porous sort of organization. So there have been allegations of corruptions in the, uh, cor corruption in the past. A lot of them hold other jobs. And it blurs the lines, not just here in Europe, but across the world, where lobbying ends and corruption begins. But when you have suitcases full of cash, uh, then there are alarm bells ringing for obvious reasons. Uh, it must be noted, too, that uh, Belgian investigators believe that this is just the beginning, that this uh, dragnet will widen over the coming days. So this may just be the beginning of what may be more investigations to uh, the European Parliament in itself, but in particular in relations with the Qataris. So, you know, you pointed out that the vote to essentially sort of demote her was sort of a landslide vote. Um, the thing about the European Union, there are many countries that want to be part of the European Union, and there are expectations for those countries. They have to ha be free of corruption. Uh, they have to have a democracy that, that sort of meets um, the standards of the European Union. So I want you to talk a little bit about why the EU is taking this so seriously. Right. Well, they want to shut down on the corruption and the allegations of corruption. And when you mention that, yes, let, let's look at Ukraine, right? Ukraine has been asking to be part of the European Union and part of that organization. It doesn't qualify by the high standards that the, uh, the European Union holds for itself, aside from the fact that it's in conflict and that's one of the things that will stop it from even uh, applying or being granted. But yes, in theory anyway, the European Union uh, holds itself in a very high regard, and there are certain um, uh, thresholds that must be met, and very high up in that uh, is corruption. So 
when there's the suggestion, hint, allegations of corruption, they want to slam the door very quickly. I mean, other MEP members have said this is a serious threat to European democracy. Ursula von der Leyen, uh, the president of the European Commission, described the allegations of the utmost concern. So it's certainly something they're taking seriously. And even while um, this woman has not actually been charged, or sorry, uh, found guilty of the allegations. The allegations alone were enough for pretty much every other member of parliament to strip her of that vice presidency. All right, Charlie, I think it's a really fascinating story. Thank you very much. Thank you.